My name is Bill Robinson. I'm 82 years young. Next month will be 83. I bought this car brand new August 1962. It's a 62 Impala, two-door hardtop. I bought it in my hometown of Naples, Texas. The story behind that, I had to get to Naples. I had that, did not have an intention to buy a car. I was in the Navy and I had a Navy buddy and we hitchhiked from Seattle to Dallas. It took us three days and then we rode a bus to Naples, which is east of Mount Pleasant. We get off the bus at 2 a.m. in the morning and uh, we're tired and wore out, but the bus stop is where the Coker Chevrolet dealership was located. <laughs> and this car was sitting on the showroom floor and I turned to Roger, my old buddy from Gadsden, Alabama, and I said, Roger, you see that red Impala sitting in there? You and I, gonna, we're going to ride back to Seattle in that car. He laughed. He thought I was stretching the truth a tad bit, you know. <laughs> but anyway, I bought the car and, and we rode it back. It took us a little while longer to get back and we had to stop visit some. <laughs> and we got back up there. My car payment was $91.67, and I was making $210 a month before deducts in the Navy. But I had free room and board, so I, I was able to survive. I was 21 years and two weeks old when I bought the car. And Roger, the guy that hitchhiked with me, my we were in the same flight crew together. He was 19 years old. He was from Gadsden, Alabama, 19 years old. Of course, back then we knew everything. We could conquer the world, you know. And we didn't think anything about hitchhiking from Seattle to Dallas. But it was quite an experience. A year and a half later, I, I got out of the Navy and went to Dallas and uh, I met my wife-to-be and we're married now. We've been married 59 years. And this, we dated in this car. We went on a honeymoon to Hot Springs, Arkansas in this car. And it's just part of our life. We brought both of our kids home from Baylor Hospital in this car. So it's part of our life. We got the family raised, we got college paid for, and weddings paid for, and now we're having fun going to car shows with our car. This is, this is part of our life. This is a major part of our life. Oh, I know I had so many memories in, in up in the Puget Sound, but probably riding with our kids, you know, when they were real young in the car. Uh, maybe on our honeymoon. Uh, there's, there's a lot of sentimental times that you have with times like that. I wish Roger was still alive. I'd like for him to see my car since it's been restored. I remember when I, I threw a party for Roger and two more guys out of my flight crew. And that was about 20 years ago at my house over in Roy City. And Roger was the first guy that shows up. And I said, Roger, come outside. I want to show you something. Sitting on a turnaround was this car. And we walked outside. And he said, Bill, you still have that car? He could not believe I still had that car. It was about 40. I'd had about 40 years then, you know. He was astounded that I still had this vehicle. He, 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 was, he could not believe that. Now I've had it nearly 62. In August, it'll be 62 years. But that makes me kind of uh, long in the tooth, you know. I'm kind of old. And I still own my first new car, and I still have my first wife. <laughs> but my car's got seniority on her. <laughs> but this is my car. It's part of me. So uh, I, thought, I hope it's a story worth hearing.